Hey guys and welcome to the biggest episode of the FIFA 15 Southampton career mode so far. So today, as you're about to see in the calendar, these are the games coming up. So we're going to start off with Real Madrid in the first leg. Then we've got Man United and then we're going to finish off with Real Madrid in the second leg as well. So by the end of today's episode, you guys will know if I'm through. And also guys, we've only got four games left of the Premier League season. So if you guys do want to see the season finale, Hopefully later on today as well guys, smash over 600 likes in the video and I'll be out later on today. I'm not going to forget the question of today and the would you rather is going to be between three English midfielders, Paul Scholes, Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard in their prime. So leave a comment down below which one would you have in your team and let's get into this game against Real Madrid. So this is it guys, here we are into the massive game against Real Madrid. The first leg in the Champions League semi-finals. The likes of Ronaldo, Gareth Bale in this team as well. And here it is, guys. So the other semi-final is Bayern Munich versus PSG. And we're basically all four teams fighting for the final. Uh, but let's get into this one. I'll also tell you that my fitness in my team is not very good. So I've gone with nearly my strongest team. But there is fitness uh, problems around the team. And also a few injuries, the likes of uh, my left-back, Gaia, and also Kurt Zuma. Yes, Nathaniel Klein. Tadic with the 1-2. Let's get Elliot through the middle. Oh, Dybala stopped there, but look at the space there for Rodriguez. He goes Rodriguez. Let's cross it over to this right-hand side. Over to Nathaniel Klein with the touch as well. Nathaniel Klein along the floor. And Dybala not there, but that's some great play there from Klein. Right, chance here for Madrid. Got to watch out here. Look at the run from Bale. And now it's Aguero on the ball. He's going to try and go past. Not a time to concede now. Into Tony Cruz, who finds Rodriguez. What a save. And we have to get this clear. And Stones does that. But oh my god, their attack is so good. But here goes Dybala on the counter. Into Elia. Can we play the 1 2? Back into Dybala. And we got it. Dybala has to finish this. And we are in the lead against Real Madrid. And that came from a mistake from Sergio Ramos. And we are beating Real Madrid 1 0 in this first half. So Ramos tries to clear the ball away. It goes to Dybala. And Dybala finishes it for once. And we're now in the lead, 1-0 up going to half time at the moment. And this is so lucky, but the baller on the score sheet. Ball comes in, into Rodriguez. Stones has to get there, and he does. Great defending, but straight out to Case Miro, who finds Rodriguez. Case Miro back in, and that's a poor tackle. What a save, though. And Rodriguez smashes it over, and that is the final chance of the first half. And how was that not a penalty? I thought Aguero would go down. Yes, Fonte with the tackle. Look at the space through the middle. Elliot's going to get there. Can he cut inside? Elliot, he's got there still. Can he finish his chance? And what a save. Tadic is there and he can't get there. Come on, Dybala. There we are. He's stolen it once again. Can Dybala beat Ramos? He does. It's Dybala and what a save. They make some fantastic saves. And the ball comes back in. Elliot's going to get there. And yet again, Casillas puts it over. Then we're going to play out to Rafinha. Cast meant to go to Rafinha. It does in the end. It's Rafinha. Wanyam has to finish it. And we are 2 0 up against Real Madrid. What is going on? I don't know what is going on. We're getting so lucky at the moment. Madrid just not at the races today. And Wanyama puts it into the back of the net. And we are leading Madrid with not our fully fit team as well. 2 0. And we have to take this lead to this, uh, the Bernabeu now. Just defending to be done here. It's back into Ramos. Is he going to go for the shot? Seal has to keep in position. He's beat me yet again. It's back in and Isco gets the consolation goal. That is going to make the second leg a lot more interesting. And now some great play there from Ramos. Finding Isco who made the run. He is a fantastic little player. And Isco puts it past the goalkeeper. And there we are guys. The full time whistle has gone. And somehow we are now taking a 2-1 lead over to the Santiago Bernabeu. And let's now move on to the second game. Another massive one against Manchester United. So here we are guys into the second game of today's episode. Manchester United time now. And I always love playing at Old Trafford on this game. And this game is absolutely massive. Uh, we now only have a few days after and before the Real Madrid game in a few days time. And there is how important this one is. So a win from this game could potentially take us into third place. Uh, so let's get into it and let's hopefully get the result. Here goes Thiago. We're going to cut inside past Mata. Thiago's got the pace. And to beat one more, Thiago into the box. Miyuka's there, but it's too close to Valdez. Thiago wants it again. What can he do this time? He plays it in field into Miyuka. Miyuka's going to go 
this way and then back in the middle into Shane Long with the finesse shot and it goes in. Shane Long has scored the opening goal with a fantastic finesse shot and we are now beating Man United after 27 minutes. He is a great finisher on this game. He scored a hat-trick a few episodes ago and has now added to his goal tally for this season. Beating Victor Valdez at his far post and we're now taking a one-goal lead. What a start. So we're now into the second half. It is currently 1-0 as we go into it. No changes made because we are playing some great stuff at the moment. Infield. Into, oh, look at this. It's into Snarling with the finesse shot. And it goes in. What is Valdez doing? And Snarling scores a second goal against Man United. We have silenced them yet again. Like, it's going to top corner and Valdez decides to dive on the floor. That's easy enough. Like, Man United are offering absolutely nothing at the moment. Even since that Rooney chance early on in the first half. And here goes Miyuka. Look at the space here for Shane Long. Can Shane Long go with the finish now? It is Shane Long and it's a great save and Miyuka can't get there. It's good though, guys. We have struggled a lot recently in the Premier League. Uh, we went from second place, I think, seven points clear of Man United. And now we find ourselves in fourth place, fighting for that top four position. Uh, but there are the changes yet again, guys. And that was a fantastic finish from Snyderling. He goes off now and Wanyama. And also we've uh, brought on another centre midfielder, Fortiago. Obviously, Rafinha, his brother. Defending to be done here. Let's not concede now. We want to keep the clean sheet. The ball comes in, though, and Forster is there. What a goalkeeper he has been. And I thought at the start of the season, let's swap him. But he's been so good. And let's now play it through the middle. And now it's Mane who's got away from the defenders. Mane to finish it. And it is now 3-0 versus Manchester United. This has to be the worst United performance of the season. Because we have smashed them at home at Old Trafford. One pass it took to get through. Just one pass, I think, from uh, Rafinha who finds Mane. And Mane slots it past the goalkeeper. Di Maria... Di Maria throw on goal and Di Maria, what a save from Forster. And as I was saying before, no need for a new goalkeeper because Forster has kept us in a lot of games this season. And there we are, guys. So there is a fantastic result. I think that is probably our best result of the season. Away from home, we have just beaten Man United 3-0. And what a fantastic performance. That's going to give us so much confidence as we go into the biggest game now against Real Madrid. Away from home as well. And let's get into it. This could not get any bigger, guys. We're now against the Champions League winners in real life. Madrid versus Southampton. What a game it is. What a stadium as well. And here's the lead. this is basically the tournament tree. So I'm not sure if Bayern Munich have played the second leg. But they're currently 5-1 up against PSG. And they won 5-0 in their quarterfinal game as well. Uh, but let's get into this game against Real Madrid. And let's see if we can hopefully get through to the next round. Great play here. Right, and the final Klein is free, and Snarling plays the ball over to him. Let's try and beat the defender here. He's beaten Marcelo. Ball comes in. Elias there with the bicycle kick, and he's actually saved by Casillas. That could have been a fantastic opening goal. Yet again, poor defending from Madrid. Oh, the ball's through into Elia. He's got the pace to beat Pepe. It's now Elia to finish, and he does the same thing he did in the last game, and he puts it wide of the mark. I should have gone for the near post. But I went for the far and Casillas had it covered, I think. That is too far wide from Elia. Oh, Ronaldo's through. Ronaldo, we've got to stick with him. It's Zuma who didn't get there. But Ronaldo, first time he is being clear of my defence. Look how tight it is at the moment. There's been one shot from Madrid, which is Ronaldo's. And he missed it by a mile. Uh, but we're doing a good job at the moment. We're not going defensive. And we're still being able to cope with the likes of Bale, Aguero, Ronaldo. So many great players. Playing field into Tadic. Tadic, oh, unlucky. We still got it though with Wanyama. Klein gets it through the middle. That has to be a free kick. Right, Ramos just completely took him out. And I think now Real Madrid are going for this game even more than they were already. Ball comes over Jimenez. He's not got there. It's now Gareth Bale. And he hits the side netting. By far the biggest chance of the game. And Bale has missed it. And now Benzema's coming on. And remember, guys, they've still got Cavani on the bench as well. This, this, this team is just ridiculous. <laughs> this team is ridiculous. Bale beats the defender. We've got to watch out now. It's now Marcelo on the ball. They're starting to push forward a lot of players now. Let's go defensive. Now Bale's still on the ball. He crosses it into the box. It's Benzema who hits it back. And it's a good save. Ronaldo's there. And it's 1-0. And it's now 2-2 on aggregate. And I've no idea what happens now. Does that mean they go through on away goals rule? I think it does. I can't believe that. No, if they go through now... Oh my god, I think that is it. And there we are. So what happens now? I think that Madrid are through. 
and I can't believe it. So Madrid have knocked us out in the semi-finals thanks to a late goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. That is shattering stuff, but I'm happy that I got this far and we got to the semi-finals. We got one step closer next year, hopefully, to the final. Uh, we finish off there with Real Madrid going through. That is annoying, guys. That is so annoying. So that means that Bayern Munich have got Real Madrid in the final. I was so close. I was five minutes away from the Champions League final. And they pushed so many men forward. The first time Ronaldo had a proper chance as well. And how much did I actually get for that? So I got I got 5.9 million. So that's not too bad. It could have been so much more if I'd held on. Next episode will be the season finale, guys. Before we move on to season number three, Chelsea currently first with uh, 34 games played, 71 points. Man City in second, and we are currently in third place. So I want to go for my final objective of the season. I want to try and get into second place, and let's see if we can do that this season. May United in fourth, Liverpool in fifth, and that's how the top five is looking. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. It has been a cracker of an episode as well, as we beat May United 3-0 and nearly made it through to the Champions League final. If you guys enjoyed it, smash a like on the video. Can we get over 500 likes in the next few hours for the season finale? That would be absolutely incredible, guys. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode.